With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let me explain this question to you. The energy is stored in an inductor of self-inductance L carrying current I is given by and there are four options given. Okay, so as we know that if self-inductance of inductor is L and current flowing through Induct, uh, current flowing through current inductor is I then in that case magnetic flux linked with that inductor is given by L into I and we know that induced EMF is equals to magnitude of induced EMF is d phi by dt magnitude of EMF induces d phi by dt so we can write L is a constant term so we can write L d I upon dt and power is defined as at any time instead any power is defined as I EMF into current flowing through the inductor and potential difference across inductor so E into I so this will be equals to L I D I upon DT and we can write power is equals to rate of work done DW by DT so from here we can write rate of uh, dw work done is equals to l i into d i now if we integrate both side if we integrate both side so current uh, let's say current is varying from 0 to i and total work done will be equals to 0 to w from 0 to w then this will be equals to w and right side will be equals to l i d i integration is i square by 2 so this will be equals to 1 by 2 L I square and this total work done will store in form of energy inside inductor. So total energy stored inside inductor is half L I square. So correct option is this half L I square. So I hope you have understood this explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.